I don't know whether you've heard about this, but according to the Luba religion, they believe the soul returns to the earth three times, first as a human, then as an animal before permanently entering the spirit world. And if you think you've heard it all, wait till I'm done with this sub-ethnics group story on religion. So once upon a time, there was an ancient and powerful kingdom known as the Luba Kingdom, born in the Lush Upemba Depression. Now this was before the Belgian colonization fragmented it, but the spirit of the Baluba people lives on. Today, most Balubas are Christians or Muslims, but some still hold on to their indigenous beliefs. Central to the Luba religion is Shakapanga, the supreme being, also known as Leza. But here's the twist. Leza can't be confined to a single place. No shrines, no temples. Instead, the Baluba connect with their ancestors, the Kabakambambo, who communicate with Leza. The ancestors live in a world mirroring our own, watching over their descendants, sending messages through dreams, and revealing truths through divination sessions called Lubuko. Dreams aren't just dreams here. They are messages from the divine. Among the Luba religion, honoring the ancestors is very crucial. The Baluba perform rituals, rites of passage and ceremonies involving prayer, singing, dancing, sacrifices and libations. Neglect the ancestors and you might face misfortunes such as crop failures or illnesses. Now back in the day, the Luba kingdom was ruled by kings but their power was checked by an oral constitution based on the ancestors' will. Now the oral constitution was called Kishila Kiabankambo and if a king got too power angry, a religious council called the Babundie could even take him down. The Baluba also believe in spirits called Mikishi or Bavide, priests known as Kitobo or Nsengha and traditional healers called Nganga are key figures. The Nganga perform Lubuko, offering prophetic insights while witches known as Mfitsi represent pure evil, opposing the ancestors' will. What to note is that each person has a life shadow or soul, known as Moja, interconnected with their body Umbidi. Harming one affects the other. When someone dies, their bodily matter must return to their village to be buried in ancestral grounds. Now what then could be the ultimate goal in the Luba religion? Achieving Bumuntu, becoming your true self with a good heart and dignity of course. Without Bumuntu, one can't truly follow the Luba religion. In 1945, a Belgian missionary named Placida Templets introduced the world to the Luba religion with his book, La Philosophie Bantu. This helped shape contemporary African philosophy. Isn't the Luba religion just mind-blowing? Of course, to know more about the religion, you can visit our website at africaribat.com where, aside from this story, you'll find many other interesting stories about the history and culture of Africa. My name is Nokla Murunga, and this is Africa Rebirth. Thank you for your time. Have a lovely day ahead.